Hi, I'm, I'm Dan Braley. I'm the Boeing Global Services Additive Manufacturing Technical Focal uh, and an Associate Technical Fellow uh, within Boeing uh, in the additive space uh, as well as composites and electromagnetic materials. Uh, here at our booth, uh, we're, we're displaying a uh, plethora of uh, uh, sustainment issues, uh, parts, parts where we've had trouble uh, trying to produce them uh, via traditional manufacturing methods. And we've gone after uh, printing them uh, in the end in uh, additive manufacturing methods. Uh, using the, the parts, the metallic parts that you see are uh, laser powder bed fusion, uh, large scale components, uh, both in aluminum and titanium, um, going for gearbox housings and transmission housings and uh, uh, large scale ducts. Uh, generally titanium and aluminum um, in nature. And, uh, you know, many of these parts are parts that uh, uh, traditionally we have a lot of trouble getting a hold of uh, via uh, the supply base no longer exists. The, the aircrafts are too old. Um, the, uh, the parts themselves are, uh, the, the tooling no longer exists for them uh, so that uh, uh, if we had to produce them in, in a, you know, a small, uh, small quantities, which generally is the case in sustainment, it, it makes it very, very expensive to do it traditionally. So we, uh, we're looking at alternative methods of uh, producing these uh, with additive manufacturing. And uh, uh, yeah, what you're looking at there, uh, you know, what we do uh, uh, with these parts, you know, uh, in order to check their quality, we'll cut them up, we'll do tensile testing and fatigue testing, microstructural analysis, and uh, it will then, uh, you know, let us know whether or not we are uh, meeting the requirements uh, of the original components. Um, in, in the, in the, uh, the polymers world, uh, we have a plethora of different uh, polymers that we, uh, we produce as well. Uh, these are just some of the examples, uh, mostly in fused deposition modeling and uh, stereo, uh, uh, SLS and uh, stereolithography. Um, you know, the future really lies in, in such things as uh, uh, printing in polymer and then uh, electroplating and, and producing, uh, you know, hybrid components uh, uh, that, are, that are produced in multiple methods. Um, the other thing is uh, elastomerics. Um, seals, gaskets, you know, really a big future there as well. Uh, here's some door, door seals as well. But in this case, uh, you know, you can literally produce parts that uh, uh, react just like that of, uh, you know, a typical, a typical seal. Really cool stuff. It is the future. Uh, and uh, we're really pushing forward to it uh, for uh, the future of sustainment um, within the military.